We've all heard the expression, if these walls could talk. After all, an old building is only as interesting as the story behind it. But now, thanks to an oral history project in the form of a series of videos, the lives behind these buildings and artifacts at Coyote Flats can live on. The oral history program that we've had uh, is a um, opportunity for people to, to look at a camera and tell their stories. So we usually give them a couple of questions just to get them talking and many people respond well. They start out by saying, I really don't have much to tell. And then they talk about the years in the army or they talk about the farms or the mission work they've done and there's always a story. Coyote Flats Pioneer Village located outside of Picture Butte is a replica of an old community. So we've been here 29 years and uh, it's grown, it's grown. We got 160 tractors, we got uh, 32 acres, 30 buildings, uh, we have a school, a church, a railway station. Uh, you know there's so much history here and Merle Good, one of our senior tour guides, is so good at telling the stories but what happens if he can't tell the stories anymore? And so Kimberly Lyle, who's been spearheading this project for us, uh, said you know we got to do something about that, we got to find a way to record it. When we started this project we had big dreams and big goals, but it was more about creating community partnerships and recording the stories of our, of our seniors. A grant from the New Horizons Seniors Program paid for some video equipment, and Picture Butte High School Media Department provided the students to produce those videos. Coyote Flats bought us three new cameras and some camera equipment, and we just had to make five videos uh, displaying how Coyote Flats is. And they came out and, and they did five videos for us, four on specific buildings, one uh, that was just an overview. Get to explore around somewhere you've really never been, get to hear from voices that really were never heard. We had the high school students coming out and learning about oral history and then and then touring the site and then meeting our seniors and doing interviews and then taking their footage and, and compiling a story, a five minute story really, that was enough to get people interested in coming to the site but also for, they had to learn how to use the equipment as well as tell the stories right and so that interaction was incredible. We had to go around we had to videotape uh, like historical monuments like the school one of the preserved houses and then got to interview people who had lived in the time when these said schools and houses were still in commission and still being used. The information that we got from that is actually going to be used in interpreting the site here. So when we talk about the buildings, when we talk about life in the olden days, we're pulling directly from the stories that seniors themselves have told us. And much like the lives behind these walls, the Oral History Project took on a life of its own. It's now received national attention. We are the recipient of the 2015 uh, Governor General Award for Excellent in Community Programming. So when they called and said, heads above the rest of the applicants, we are so happy to announce you're the winner, it was huge for us, just huge. I mean, honestly, I remember the lady saying, I'm going to send this all in writing to you because I'm not sure you're actually getting it all. <laughs> that was a huge surprise for both of us in the school. It was astounding to know that something so small from such a small community could go to such lengths and grow to such a growth that it just surprised everyone really. Never dreaming that we would be a national award winner and that the Governor General would recognize our, our efforts. It's incredible for us, especially from a small community, to achieve something that's going to have national impact. You know, you don't do these things for the awards, but when someone, when you take a step back and someone acknowledges, it really helps you appreciate what went into it and you know the seniors that were interviewed they're standing taller now you know the students they're realizing they can do incredible things. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Jeanette Roche.